Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mary Nelson. Emotions ran high on the floor of the Nebraska legislature this afternoon as a bill targeting gender affirming care had its second round of debate. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney has followed this all session and joins us from the newsroom with the latest. Hi, Alex. That's right, Mary. Despite a session long filibuster, a bill looking to ban gender affirming care for minors continues to make its way through the legislature. The debate has drawn national attention and today a well known hate group made its way to Lincoln to show its support for the bill. It's not often the eyes of the nation are on Nebraska's politics, but the battle over gender affirming care has brought the work of the legislature into the national spotlight. You are the first senator in your state to filibuster every bill in your legislature's 90 day session. On Thursday, LB 574 again made its way to the floor for its second round of debate. As senators were debating in the chamber, a well-known hate group made its way to the steps of the Capitol to show their support for the bill. Go home! Christian Colts have got to go! Hey, hey! Go home! Christian Colts have got to go! Some questions have been raised about how the Westboro Baptist Church became aware that LB 574 would be debated on Thursday. Some have accused the bill's introducer, Kathleen Count, of inviting the WBC to Lincoln, an accusation that she strongly denies. Nobody has called them to invite them. Uh, nobody wants them here, and we are doing our best to just ignore them because that's really all they're good for. Efforts to end the filibuster on LB 574 have been mostly unsuccessful. One effort was an amendment to the bill that would still allow hormonal treatments and puberty blockers, but still restrict gender-affirming surgeries proposed by supporters. But opponents have made it clear there is no compromise that can be made to get them to support LB 574. Until the next culture war comes. We've had a lot of uh, very negative comments about doing anything. Um, so since we were being pushed into the all or nothing, um, we really need to protect kids with this, and so we are going for all. It seemed like the passage of 574 without the amendment was a foregone conclusion. But just as the vote was set to begin, Speaker John Arch stopped the proceedings to try for a last-minute deal on an amendment. Yeah. What's your thinking? I'm going to call them. Why don't can we, can we just, we've got about 15 minutes. There's a group of us meeting now, so the back hallway. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just keep it? When the senators return, Arch explained that he was concerned with sending the bill to final reading without an amendment, as once it makes it to final reading, no new amendments can be introduced. The body, though, was not receptive to his concerns and voted to advance the bill without an amendment. It was a devastating defeat for the progressives who have battled the bill since its introduction, but opponents promised that the fight for gender-affirming care wouldn't end with this vote on 574. I will continue to do everything that I can for your children. And I hope, I hope that you know how much you matter and how much you are loved. In Lincoln, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now. Well, Alex is here with us now. LB 574 passed its vote today. Could you explain what happens next? That's right, Mary. Since it passed today, it's going through its ENR process and then it will come in for a final reading. Now, because there was no amendments introduced to the bill, it doesn't really have too much to do with ENR. It will just come back for final reading. Now, it will be interesting to see whether or not these senators want to introduce a late amendment to the bill from the concern from Senator Arch. Now, if they do want to introduce that amendment, they will have to send it back to select file, introduce the amendment there, vote on it again, and then bring it back to a final reading. So quite a bit of time delay if they should choose to do that. But today's vote shows that that might not be the case. Mary, here in the uh, newsroom, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now. Thank you, Alex. And